John Kennedy is with us. Senator, am I wrong in thinking that as the United States of America, it's the, one of the best countries, not a perfect country, but the greatest country God gave man? And don't you think it ought to be possible for every state in this great union of ours to be able to get a vote count done in, in within 24 hours, like other countries, get tens of millions of votes counted? Yes, and to restore confidence in our elections, Sean, we have to do, at a minimum, three things. First, we have to defeat, as we have so far, President Biden's attempt to establish a federal election code. Number two, we have to go back to having an election day, not an election month. Um, I'm okay if people want to vote by mail. That's up to the states. But the ballots need to be in and counted by election night. Let me say it again. We need an election day, not an election month. And number three, you, you, and this is, this is unconditional, you have to, to be required to prove you are who you say you are to vote. And if we would do those three things, I think people would have uh, a little more confidence in our election system. I, I would think... like to say something, Sean, about you. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Oh, you go. You, yes, mentioned, you mentioned oil and inflation. Uh, President Biden was inaugurated on January 20 of last year. So we are on day 488 of Build Back Better. Uh, so far, the policy failures from this administration have gushed like an open fire hydrant. You mentioned oil. Uh, the president is clearly obstructing America from drilling for its own oil, and, uh, for environmental reasons, he says. Instead, he wants to, us to buy oil from foreign countries. Those foreign countries transport that oil to us in tankers that use 2,000 gallons of fuel per hour and emit eight tons of CO2 per, per hour. <laughs> uh, the, the irony is rich. I mean, that's a special kind of stupid. That, that's... Uh, on inflation? <laughs> yeah, that's a special kind of... Keep going. You're on a roll. I'm not stopping this. Uh, well, well on, inf on inflation, here's what the American people see. Uh, President Biden gave Americans three $600 stimulus checks. And then, for his next trick, he crashed their 401ks and increased their gasoline bills by $800, their food bills by, by $3,000, and their rent by $2,000 a month. Now, unless you have untreated mental illness, you know that is not a good trade. And, and that's why most Americans, at least on the economy, uh, would, would right now would not trust the Biden administration to properly open a PayPal. Uh, its economic illiteracy is astounding. You know, I know what it's like early in my adult life to live paycheck to paycheck. And that was for some period of my life. And mm -hmm. I had spent all my money on college, ran out, had to go work. You know, I was a contractor. I worked in restaurants. I did all that stuff that I told people a hundred times about. But I will tell you, it's not a fun feeling, Senator. Now we have nearly two-thirds of Americans in that position. That frightens me. And what makes me even more frightened is the, I don't see a Bill Clinton moment coming. I've been saying this. Bill Clinton, era of big government is over. The end of welfare as we, we know it, the, quote, sister soldier moment. I mean, Bill Clinton, Clinton had an ability to adjust and adapt to conditions that were unfolding in his presidency. I don't see mm -hmm. that quality in Joe or the entire Democratic Party, for that matter, and that scares me for the future. I'll give you the last word on this. Well, quite the opposite. Uh, the, President Biden says that he has no control over over gasoline prices and oil prices. You can't have regulatory control over the drilling, transport, storage, uh, refining, 
trading and taxation of oil as the president does and accurately make that statement. And the American people just don't believe him because it's just not true. Senator, always great to have you. Uh, you're up for re-election. I don't even really mention your race because every, you're so loved in Louisiana. I, I predict right now I think you're going to win by double digits. However, I always warn people, never take every, any vote for granted. So we, we will follow your race more closely as time moves on. Thank you, sir. Go, 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 to, go to John Kennedy. Go to johnkennedy.com. Right. johnkennedy.com to learn more about my race. All right, Senator Kennedy, always great to have you.